Good evening HTC fans, I'm back again with a second version of my HTC Vive experiment slash demo. Uh, hopefully the audio will be better quality this time. I'm gonna walk you through the new changes that I made to my level. First of all, as you can see that now we're actually inside a physical structure as opposed to just some floating corridors. Second, I don't know if you remember these aliens from before that you can shoot at them. But now if you get close enough, they'll actually attack you. In this case, this guy's doing kind of like a Sith Lord attack. Attacking with a force or something. So all you have to do is dodge to the side and blow him up. Third alien is trying to do a hypnotic attack. I'm, blow, I'm, blow, I'm gonna blow him up. Here's the third alien. Hello, we guy. There you go. Okay, we're gonna go close to this corner. We're gonna take cover, pop up, and shoot the guy. And there he dies. Next change that we've implemented is now we're multi-level, so we're gonna try to go to the floor below us by using an uh, elevator. Pretty much this platform right here. All we have to do is get close to it. Let me see if I can teleport to it. Yep. And now we're below. next thing that we have here, if you actually pick around, is we have some lasers that we have to avoid. So we're gonna teleport again, get into position, make sure that we have enough room so we can not get hit by the lasers. There we go. Nice little laser. How do we get around this? Let's crawl. <laughs> Up again. Now here I don't have enough room in my in my movement square, so I'm gonna teleport a little bit forward. Okay, and we're on the same boat again. Nice little lasers. Let's crawl about to hit the border of the room but we made it teleport again and we're safe okay next we have this wedge over here I haven't implemented the actual mechanism for this part but what's supposed to happen is as you reach, as you reach the middle of this wedge a door is gonna swing by and close that opening right there so you're pretty much going to be stuck here and aliens are going to start attacking from above or from below so pretty much you're going to be shooting at them but you can see we have some interesting clouds down here let's assume that we killed all the aliens door opens up and now we can teleport again okay so we're going to go back to get into position, get to the border of our bounding box, just so we have enough room to move around. Okay, there we go. So we see this laser, wait for it to pass, and move through. Whoa! Now we move again. Oh, that's close. Oh, and that was even closer. We're just gonna teleport out of this one. And we're safe from the lasers. Yay! Okay, so... Now we're at this opening right here. Yet, I don't see an elevator. I wonder what we are gonna do here. Oh, there's a wedge below us, so maybe it's time to take a small leap of faith. So let's get ready, look around, and jump. 
Okay, so in this final level right here, I haven't done anything, so just to recap, what we have so far as far as movement mechanics are we got an elevator that can bring you downstairs. We also have a ledge where you can actually jump from and has a little bit of a bounce at the landing just to make sure that it's not too jarring for uh, creating motion sickness in VR. And now, at the end of this corridor, which we're about to reach, we have our last and final elevator. Um, this one's a little bit different because it's supposed to be in a traditional uh, vertical elevator and it's not, also not a horizontal rail system. This one actually goes vertical. So you can explore interesting game mechanics as in either do this with enemies attacking you or maybe even a boss fight. Uh, I'm going to show it to you in a second. First we're going to shoot this balloon out of the way. I don't know if you can see the pretty clouds around here. As you can see, we can actually teleport around this area. So we're going to teleport right here. And now we're going to touch the elevator. Activator right here. As you can see, now we're going down. We're going past some clouds. us so we're in position and we are home well again thank you for your time I hope you enjoy this video um, hopefully this demo will be available hopefully soon in the Steam store for owners of the HTC Vive so pretty much developers and lucky people that have one um, I appreciate your time if you have any questions or comments please write them below Thank you for your time and have a great night.